All right, so now we're going to talk about the Shang dynasty. Now, remember, a dynasty is a ruling family. So the ruler, um, there would be passed on from generation to generation within the family. You think about kings and princes um, in Europe and in different civilizations that we've studied. But it, it was usually the, uh, the oldest son that would then take over and rule the kingdom when the father died. And so the, that would stay within the family. So what we think is that the China's first rulers were probably part of the Xi dynasty. Um, and little known is known about that, that dynasty at all. Um, but the Shang may have built the first Chinese cities. And Anyang was China's first capital. So now we have these bigger cities. We have this big civilization that's developing. We have, we're starting to have bigger cities. And the people of the Shang Dynasty were divided into groups. The most powerful group was the king and his family. Okay, that makes sense because the king's the one that's in charge. The armies used chariots and bronze weapons to take over nearby areas. So it's interesting that we have like chariots and bronze weapons that some of the other civilizations that we have seen. And so they all kind of develop similar technology for how to get around. Um, and maybe they got these chariots from when the ideas for the chariots from when they were um, visited by um, some more Western societies or something. But it is interesting that we see kind of some of these similar technologies um, across different civilizations.